constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. Uh, something that uh, uh, many have raised uh, about is the conducive environment for foreign direct investments that's, to come into correct. the country. But uh, how far has the government been successful in this regard and what measures do you think still remains because that environment you're, you're, you're spot on on that uh, we were we were actually lagging behind mm -hmm. for a long time. Uh, the BOI we are restructuring according to Harvard and a couple of professors are working on that. Mm -hmm. So if you if an investor comes we have uh, ready-made information from these uh, groups. And not only that, uh, especially the uh, East out beam business ranking in Sri Lanka, we, we have uh, slipped down to 110 from 85. Because we were trying to put the system right, it has gone back. But now we have identified 15 major changes that uh, especially uh, legal, legal. Okay. So uh, we have 10 task force working on that. The dialogue continued even after the presentation of the budget. Fundamentally, do you think that we have set a policy path to, through this budget? We are trying to create a semi-credit guarantee fund and more allocation for healthcare, education, uh, divesting of non-state strategic assets. I don't know how practical it is, but I quote the finance minister saying, um, uh, seven thousand billion rupees we have to pay back as loans. Mm. That is, one thousand nine hundred seventy billion rupees will be needed to pay back loans in two thousand eighteen, yeah. next year. So we need to we need relief to pay off these loans, and we are not ready to make the public pay for this. Therefore, every bank transaction of one thousand rupees will have a tax of zero point two zero rupees as a loan repayment tax for the next three years. It's a huge. What it is, is the impact of this? It's a huge tax on the banks, a cost of the banking system, hmm. with uh, Basel three coming in. So their profitability is going to get hit. I don't know how the bankers' association are going to react to this. Well, to be fair, by the <laughs> finance minister, <laughs> who, <laughs> who, whom he is going to tax? You know, is it the people? Well, now they can't touch it now. There are elections around the corner. Then production sectors. Then that means that you are going to hit the growth. Mm -hmm. So banks are lying in between. So perhaps you know that's an easy way out for the uh, the government to I, mean, I think we, we we won't know the full impact of mm. it till till we kind of see it o in operation mm. but given that we've had a steady decline in the tax to uh, sort of tax revenue to gdp ratio in <coughs> sri lanka and, and we need to raise it dramatically in a short window and even though we are called the democratic socialist republic of sri lanka and usa mm. is the you know heartland of capitalism so so it, it's a, it's we have a problem in our income tax system that's very deep and they did announce you know various changes to the meanwhile following the budget presentation first at nine spoke with several economists and analysts to get their thoughts on the presented budget when taxes are made more progressive on one hand it is fair and it is ethical to do so on the other hand it would hopefully reduce the mix of government income from depending on indirect and depending less on direct so if the mix changes hopefully it will set the stage for some sort of easing so uh, budget at uh, reigniting the economy and also creating an enabling environment for business with a number of measures targeted to improve uh, exports and to create a green environment. With the SME sector is of great interest. Now within that SME sector, we are yet to see clear direction as to how the government is going to ensure that financial sector which accounts for more than 32% uh, of the labor force is going to benefit from the budget because the government has mentioned that they want to develop enterprises and entrepreneurship within that span. 